Here are 10 build ideas you need to have in your Minecraft city, which can help bring your city together. So the first tip slash idea is having a good road layout in your city. Now, and one of my favorite things to do when building pavements, instead of just making it all one level, I like to kind of raise a sidewalk up so it's one block high. And then that way there's room so you can add some sort of curb, which kind of gradients nicely down to the road, which I think adds a little bit of extra dimension to your whole city here. So for the pavement, I always like to use smooth stone. I think that's quite a nice block to use. And I also like to use stairs, and that way you can add a bit of extra detail to your paths to make it look that little bit more wear down. And you can also add a little bit of extra texture by using some extra blocks on the pavement. So here I've used a combination of smooth stone and just normal stone, which I think works quite nice together. And where I've added extra detail in the pavement, I can also do this in the road. For example, I've used some, I think it's like deep slate stairs to kind of create some potholes in the road. And my second tip is to have some nice side bushes to help kind of section things off. And what I like about these bushes are they're quite good for section off things like housing, where you want it to have kind of like a nice fence going around it. So the design I've used for this, it's just leaves kind of in like a two by three kind of rectangle there. I just alternated it with some spruce and some oak to give it that little bit more texture, which I think makes it a little bit nicer. Also added some birch fences in between, just some nice posts there to bring everything together. But I think overall, this is a nice design to put around your houses. And then tip number three is having some nice street lamps in your city as well. So this is a design that I've came up with. This just uses one stone brick just here, and then four stone brick walls on top of that with a hopper. And on top of that hopper, I've added a deep slate stair with a slab next to that. And then I've added a nice redstone lamp. And then above that, I've just added two daylight sensors, which are set to nighttime. And that way you can have a nice functioning street lamp. I like kind of using stairs with the slab, kind of creates a nice curved kind of thing, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. The next up for my fourth idea is having a nice bus stop in your city. For this bus stop, it's very simple design. I just used some deep slate walls, which I've kind of based it off with and then added some pillars going up. And I've just filled kind of in between with some glass and then use some deep slate slabs on top for some sort of roof. And just on the side for some sort of bus sign, I thought I'd use an item frame with a nice little banner in it just to make it look like some sort of bus. But well, I think that looks quite nice. And then I've also got a pane under that to support it. And of course, it wouldn't be a bus sort of out showing all the times. So you can just simply put a sign there to show all the times. And to align with the bus stop, I've also added some yellow markings to show where the bus can go. And if you want to know how to build the bus, I have got a bus tutorial available on my channel. So if you want to build a bus to go with this bus stop, go and check that out. For my next fifth build idea is this traffic light design. And I purely love this design just because it's got a nice banner which shows all the different lights, which I think is pretty cool. But as you can see, this light, it just uses a deep slate wall with kind of like five iron bars going up and then just some black concrete next to that to extend it out. And then an iron trap door on top with the banner in front to create a nice traffic light design. And to make this banner, all you need to do is, if you just grab yourself a loom, a light gray banner, and also some orange, some green, and some red dye and some black dye. And if you place your light gray banner in there, firstly, if I just create myself a red triangle going down for the top there, and then I'm gonna do a green triangle going upwards from the bottom there. And then in the middle, I'm gonna add myself an orange circle just there. And then with some black dye, I'm gonna add this pattern here firstly, and then to finish it off, I'm gonna do a border around. And then that'll give you a nice traffic light banner, which you can use on your traffic light here. Next up is this car design. And what I like about this design is that you can kind of adapt it in certain ways. So for example, every car, it usually has a base of like four wheels. And then I like to use slabs kind of going around it for like the base. And then what you can do once you've got that base, you can then add all the details on top. So for example, I've added some yellow wall at the front there with some quartz stairs above each of the wheels just to add that little bit more detail. So I've just added like yellow wool going all the way around. And I also like using glass panes for cars as well. I think they just make it look a little less blocky there. And also for putting roofs on, I like to add a bit of string kind of in the middle there, and that will allow us to place carpets there as well. I think a grindstone works well as a steering wheel as well. I like to use them for steering wheels. And then at the back, you know, again, using the glass panes, you can add a nice kind of back mirror there as well. And I also like these new glowing item frames. I think they act quite well for um, headlights. They look quite nice. And also just adding signs 
course on number plates as well and i also like to use different colored glass panes to just kind of show the wind mirrors just there and if you want any more car designs then my car dealership store is full of loads of other car designs you can take inspiration from so next up for my sixth build idea is this post box design because you know you can't have a city without a post box so for this this uses the new mangrove planks i like i love these because they're red like i've had a lot of use for these so far but for this post box i've just added one black stone wall which has got a mango plank on top and then above that i've added a stair to make it look like the kind of kind of hole where you put all the posts through and then to show the kind of post times i added an item frame with a white glass pane in there just there and for like the kind of like key holder thing i added a little button on the side there as well and to finish it off i just top that off with a red carpet and then for my next build idea we have got a nice simple bench design which can't have a city without a few benches lying around but for this bench design instead of just using the classic kind of stairs i made this one a little bit more detailed by adding kind of like three slabs and then some trapdoors behind it and then i just finished it off with some signs on either side what i like about benches are they're usually quite simple and quite easy to build and you can add many of these around a city so we've got the benches but we might also need some bins as well and this is you know it's quite important to have bins around the city but um and what i like about using the cauldrons for a bin i feel like cauldrons are just probably one of the best things you can use for a bin in minecraft they just look the best but yeah so um this just this design just has a cauldron with some signs going around it and just an oak trap door on top and again i like it because it doesn't take up much space and i feel like the signs just kind of make it look that little bit more modern as well and then for my 10th and final build idea for today this is the speed limit sign so for the speed limit sign it just uses some white concrete with an item frame in front which has got a barrier block in it and you can only get it in creative but what you can do if you just do slash give your player name and then barrier block or just barrier that's how you get one of them and they've just placed that in an item frame kind of looks like a speed limit sign would have think that's quite nice or like a no entry sign you could probably get multiple uses out of that and i've just topped that off with some red carpet and it's just on a base of some iron bars just there so that was 10 build ideas to help enhance your city further in minecraft so i hope you guys can take something away from this but yeah so uh, thanks for watching and have a good day